the, the breakdown of communication with us and we started working with Mick Jones. Mick Jones then, he kind of went two steps forward and one step back. He took right. us back to a place where our input, our emotional our emotional, um, our emotional connection was really, really important yeah. to him. And I think that's what made the clash be who they were. I remember the first day that we met him, he, he kind of got lost on the way down to the studio and it was raining and he had a little plastic bag with his notebook inside and he went, oh, I've been in the studio before, but I, I got completely lost on the bus. And it was just like, it was so refreshing to have a bloke just turn up. And then we started, <laughs> we started hanging out and playing yeah. And then we went around the corner to a pub up the brewery road called the Albion, wow. which which is just kind of the every, everything liberty in it has got something to do it's with the Albion. Albion Even Carl, Carl now lives on the Albion Road, you know, it's all <laughs> the Albion and the hotel in, in Margate. That's there's that there's the Albion not too far from there as well. Everything is Albion orientated to be honest. Um, and we started talking about like his you know his time within the clash and mm. he you know the one thing that he one thing that he said that he regretted the most of all was when the band split up, not kind of mending any fences with, right. with reference to relationships between people. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, because they, they the journey was so long, and this is something that you, you mentioned beforehand, you know, you've been in the band 15 years, you're spending all of your time with them. I think that was definitely the same for The Clash. They were spending all of the time in West mm -hmm. London together, and 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 it just got it just got a little bit too much. And then yeah. obviously, they, you know, with Infamy came having to tolerate the person that you're stood next to all of the time and not actually being given that that minute mm -hmm. to actually sit back and reflect on what you've done and how you are going to move forward. Yeah. They, they never had that. And Mick said to us, you know, if you know, if there's one thing I could have could if I could turn the turn turn the hands of time back, I would repair all of my relationships with the guys in the band, at the least, regardless yeah. of us actually moving forward. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, you know, we, I would repair that. So so I would have at the least a clean conscience mm -hmm. and a fond memory as yeah. to everything that we did. Yeah. 